how to look expensive on budget. Fine. So the first foundation of looking expensive is to know which is your category. Some people are the classic type of expensive and that's actually my absolute favorite. Like Audrey Hepburn, like um, I don't know, Kate Winslet, all of these people. And some people like the Kardashian style, Paris Hilton type of expensive and that's also fine. Number two is nails. Nails, like my grandma said, could make a girl look classy or not. Why? Because chipped nails, too long of nails, too short of nails, nails that are not groomed, nails that are dirty, nails with weird nail polish colors, they are never classy and they never look good. So always have your nails medium sized, uh, always have them um, filed nicely, you don't have to go to expensive salon, just file your nails, uh, don't grow, grow them too long and don't bite them, it's not ladylike at all, and also try to always have like French manicure, nude colors, pastel colors, maybe red uh, colors, but I find them hard to maintain, that's why it's better without them. <laughs> statement sunglasses. It's very important that you go and find one pair of sunglasses that flatters your face nicely. It doesn't have to be a very expensive brand name. Just do your best to have it good looking on your face. Some of the ones that Primark look nice, don't buy the ones that look crazy, like you would spot that they are cheaply bought, but try to find ones that look classic and flatter your face. Sunglasses always like, you know, most of celebrities, when they are sad or in an event or they don't have makeup on, you would find them with sunglasses on because they are flattering and they make you look expensive. Have one good classic wrist watch. I have, this one is a Michael Kors, also from Tiki Max, was very cheap. I got it for like 100 euros, where it originally costs around 200 or 300 euros, so a good bargain. Uh, so try to look for a classical watch, invest in it, and nothing else. This is the only watch I have. I mean, why would I buy tons uh, while I could have one classic that fits all? Diamond classic studs. I mean, all the time, all the time, you would see someone with pearl or diamond studs that looks classy. And no one will notice actually the difference between the real thing and not the real thing. Honestly speaking, uh, I've seen a lot of women wearing those big studs you could find at H&M or any big shop that is uh, cheap. And what they do is they give you this elegance like, t like without an effort, you look as if you have like a real diamond on. And that's have a signature scent. I know uh, that may sound uh, like a new thing to you, but it doesn't have to be an expensive scent, any scent would do, but have one that is specifically for you, so that whenever someone smells it, they associate it with you. This is something classy ladies always have uh, in common. You would see a lady coming in a room that she smells so good, she smells very distinctive, and her scent is Basically, whenever you smell it again, you remember that lady. And this is something very ladylike, very classy, and will always make you feel and look expensive. Neutral colors. If you are in doubt, wear neutrals. It's easy to style them. It's timeless to wear them. Blacks, whites, nudes, uh, pastels, classic browns, all the classical neutral colors fit like they fit all taste, all styles. They make clothes look uh, more expensive. Don't shy away from colors, but colors, if they are not well thought of, they might break your outfit completely. Simple makeup. I know people who love makeup will think this is weird, but honestly speaking, let's think about it out loud. When was the last time you've seen a princess or a diplomat? or someone who's very uh, associated with elegance in a horse race, I don't know, <laughs> uh, wearing too much makeup, like a dramatic kind of eye or uh, glittery eyes. Never, why? Because as I said, they like moderation in everything. A great source in my opinion for looks that looks 
expensive uh, is uh, the Vogue YouTube, the Vogue YouTube channel, where you see all the big celebrities and fancy people apply their makeup. When in doubt to dress something up, wear a red lipstick. But very important to note, you have to learn which red shade suits your skin tone. Structured clothes, in general, structured clothes make you look a bit pimped up. If you wear a blazer, for example, if you wear a structured uh, skirt, if you wear those work, work style pants, anything structured, less flowy, weirdly kind of fit style looks always elegant. Monochromatic outfits when in doubt as well. And that's actually a hack, a style hack that I find very flattering. If there is a certain color you want to dare and wear, if you wear it monochromatic with everything else you're wearing, it will definitely look more expensive and chic. Materials matter, yes. Let's imagine, before I wear this fur thingy, this is how I looked. I, I'm, I'm going to try to make a comparison half-half. This is how I looked which looked neat and looked nice, but trust me, this fake fur scarf, just a scarf, a different contrasting material in a contrasting neutral color, what did it do? Completely dressed up the situation, completely made it look a little bit off of a notch. So belt your jackets, oh yes ladies, whenever you wear a flowy big jacket that looks nice, has no structure, put a nice belt on it and trust me, it will transform you tuck your shirts. Trust me, you could be wearing a, natural, a normal shirt, a skinny jeans. Tuck the shirt in, you look more expensive. Have a nice belt on, you look more expensive and as if you spent time putting on this outfit while in fact you just tucked your shirt in. Pointy shoes makes you also look very expensive. But I would uh, urge you to try them and buy them from a shop because pointy shoes tend to be a little bit smaller than the regular uh, shoe so you might be trying it out to see if the size fits you or not. Pressed and tailored. Trust me, you could have the most expensive Chanel top, I don't know, whatever, and it's creased, looks like it's, like my grandma says, out of a dog's uh, mouth. <laughs> Chew it. Uh, this is this will definitely not look as expensive as if you're wearing something that fits your body right, size fitting right, tailored on you, or maybe bought in the right size, and do your laundry right. Dainty jewelry. The too much of anything breaks the whole point of it. We tend psychologically to want them to show off a little bit more than if they are cheap. So if they are cheap, we care less for them, we wear, we wear them haphazardly with other things, but if you're wearing actually a real diamond earring, a real diamond ring, you will never pair it with a lot of things, you want it to stand out. So no matter what, it's artificial or it's real, wear it right, wear it as if it's the real thing. Get the look by being minimal with dainty jewelry. Don't go out with your hair not brushed. Don't go out with your hair everywhere. If you're having a bad hair day and that happens to everyone, you could find a nice way to braid it or to put it in a nice ponytail. My favorite is Luxie hair. They do a lot of nice, quick, easy hairstyles that you could do that will make you polish. And when in doubt, you could put a turban like I do. Matching your shoes with your bag. You could pair them in material leather, leather, um, casual, casual, fabric, fabric, matching them always instantly also make you look a little bit as if you took care of what you're wearing. And if you're someone like me, a little bit keen on having a capsule wardrobe or not owning a lot of things, you can actually pick things that are almost from the same category so that you always have them paired. Avoid prints. If you wanna wear prints, this actually methodology is very hard to um, make it expensive. People that, that are luxurious, when they wear prints, stylists help them to master them. Replace your buttons. You bought something cheap, hooray, hooray, you saved money on something. 
that's not a bad thing. But if you got a jacket that looks very nice, tailored on you, everything fine, neutral color, but it kind of looks cheap a bit and you want to notch it up, trust me, if you change the buttons, buy those golden uh, like buttons, buy like more expensive looking buttons, it will make this jacket look like 10 million bucks. Bit by bit, invest in quality pieces. I've always neglected this. My mom has always told me, instead of going to Primark, intending to buy one thing, like a white t-shirt, for example, and I end up finding a lot of cute things and buy them, like everyone else. And what she suggests is going to uh, outlet stores, waiting for Black Friday or something like this, for the list of things I need. And I would be astonished to get them almost same price or a little bit higher than the ones I would get from Primark cheaply. The way you walk, the way you talk. I'm not suggesting you change yourself for anyone. I've never been an advocate for this. But you know those times when you enter a store and you hear someone screaming for with their like boyfriends or shouting or acting abnormally. How do you perceive them? It's not right to perceive them that way. Let's agree on this, but we do that anyways. If you want to look expensive, try to watch your behavior a bit. Try to act as if, to act like the role you're trying to pull. Which brings us to the next tip. Learn a little bit of etiquette. I know, years ago it was normal to take etiquette class in, in, in schools, and I don't know why they drop this completely. I know it's free to be free and be whoever you want, but a little bit of etiquette doesn't harm anyone. It just makes you look a little bit as if you have like more work put into you. And I really appreciate that. I look good all the time. I know I used to be a person who take my old clothes and wear them at home because who cares? I would wear the same thing to bed, like the same thing I was wearing all day long at home. I will not care about how I look except for what is seen to people outside. This attitude is not an attitude of someone who's expensive. And trust me, it's beautiful when you live your dream, even if you don't have the money for it or you cannot afford it. The moment I started to care for what I wear at home, what I care, what I wear in bed, I care about who, how I look like, not for anyone else anymore. I care about how I look like all the time for myself. It built confidence, it makes me feel expensive, and I am actually becoming an expensive person without realizing it, because I always look the way I want to live. 